Signs you're in a toxic relationship and what to do about it. A good relationship makes you feel secure, happy, cared for, respected, and free to be yourself. On the other side of the coin are toxic relationships, the ones that make you feel drained, depleted, and sometimes even distraught. Every single relationship has a level of toxicity. Nothing is perfect, there's always some work to be done. What is a toxic relationship? Any relationship between people who don't support each other, where there's conflict and one seeks to undermine the other, where there's competition, where there's disrespect and a lack of cohesiveness. Here's how to tell if you're in a toxic relationship. If any of this sounds familiar, it's time to make some big changes. So make sure to watch until the end. Before we begin make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. Toxic communication. Instead of kindness and mutual respect, most of your conversations are filled with sarcasm or criticism and fueled by contempt. Do you catch yourself making snide remarks to your friends or family members? Maybe you repeat what they said in a mocking tone when they're in another room. You may even start dodging their calls, just to get a break from the inevitable arguments and hostility. Good communication is the heartbeat of every relationship, and it's easy to go off the rails without even meaning to. You don't feel safe. A healthy relationship gives space for people to be imperfect and accountable at the same time. You can tell each other the good stuff and the shameful stuff and openly talk about who has hurt you. You can be fully seen and still be fully loved. There's a clear imbalance of power. Try asking yourself who has more power in this relationship. If it there is too clear cut of an answer, it suggests a problem. Ideally, relationships are a union between equals. Surely, every aspect of a relationship won't have perfectly balanced power dynamics, but overall, it should balance out. Your partner blames you for a problem they caused. This is called scapegoating, and it happens. When an individual will displace their problems onto someone, leaving them to feel guilt and shame when they were not the source of the problem. Part of being in a healthy relationship of any kind means owning your feelings and working through them, not pointing fingers. It feels bad. All the time. Any relationship in which you experience withdrawals of energy without deposits will leave you in the negative. If your relationship feels like it's literally sucking the energy out of you, that's a primo sign of toxicity. Toxic relationships can actually make our bodies unhealthy, it's vital to pay attention to these signs and to how our bodies are reacting. You feel very insecure. When you're in a healthy relationship, there's a significant back and forth where you're complimenting each other, bringing out the best in each other, and letting each other know, I care about you. I'm here for you, and this is why. So if you're in a constant state of insecurity around your person, you are not in a healthy relationship period. You feel controlled or manipulated. A toxic person feels a compulsion to tip the power balance in their favor. They might check in on you all the time or constantly bug you about where you're going and what you're doing. Your partner might weaponize the relationship to manipulate you into doing things. They might withdraw when you upset them and come running back when you do something right. Dishonesty Lying and cheating will dissolve trust as if it was never there to begin with. Once trust is so far gone, it's hard to get it back. The toxicity of this lies in the slow erosion of confidence. Sometimes all the fight in the world can't repair trust when it's badly broken. 
How to Fix a Toxic Relationship It is unhealthy to enter a relationship acknowledging that there are red flags, making excuses for the person you are in a relationship with, and just hoping they will change over time. In this case, it may be best to completely go your separate ways. Leaving a relationship is never easy, but staying for too long in a toxic relationship will make sure any strength, courage and confidence in you are eroded down to nothing. Once that happens, you're stuck. If that feels like too much, you can also try couples therapy to help build and restore the relationship. And yes, you may be able to restore some toxic relationships with the help of a therapist or counselor if there is shared effort to acknowledge wrongdoing or reasons for toxicity. That's all for today. Have you had experience like this before? Please let us know in the comment. If you thought this video was useful, feel free to like, share and subscribe. Also click notification bell button so you won't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching.